How to trade after big announcements like Fed meetings. First, the first move is always wrong. So Bitcoin was up a little and then it completely crashed because the Fed was super hawkish. Okay, so algorithms will read the headline and just buy or sell based off on what people expected or what people wanted. People want Powell to pivot, and he just won't. Why? Well, because if he did, he would have to admit something is really, really wrong, and they're not ready to do that yet. I guess things haven't blown up enough for them to need to do that yet. So back to our trading lesson. First move, wrong. What was the first move? Bitcoin down. Everyone's like, oh, the Fed's super hawkish, sell Bitcoin. Oh, the government released a report saying that crypto was not a good form of payment, et cetera, et cetera. You're better off with a CBDC. Everyone freaks out and sells. Meanwhile, what the government has actually done with the report that slams crypto from the executive branch, and then the Fed hiking rates, like they hiking rates in a financial crisis isn't a good idea. Everyone sold Bitcoin. Meanwhile, that's the case for Bitcoin. Like the more the government doesn't like Bitcoin, the more I like Bitcoin. The more people sell after a Fed announcement, after probably the worst Fed decision in history, fighting inflation when real estate and everybody in the banking system, the regional banks, the depositors, the lenders, the borrowers, are all gonna get hosed. And everyone forgot that today because they watched the algos sell everything. When the fact of the matter is, a lot of times after big numbers are released, people take a deep breath and go, what does it all mean? What just happened? Well, what just happened in legacy jargon, it's called policy error. It's been happening a lot, but raising interest rates into a financial crisis is textbook policy error. What does policy error mean? Well, it means this is why Bitcoin was created. It means pay attention because this is why we Bitcoin, as one YouTuber says. This is why you do crypto. Because when they make these kind of mistakes, the little guy can win. The little guy can make money and protect himself. They also told you today that the dollar was done. Okay, that move's been coming for a long time and they've made no bones about it. So you're gonna see DXY below 100 very soon. If you do, that's when Bitcoin turns around. So frequently when you have these big moves, you ignore the reaction or the knee-jerk reaction you focus on the true meeting, and then for your cues, you watch the dollar. Like and subscribe to this channel for more.